I am Dr. Helen Nags, Vice President of Global Research and Development at New Skin Enterprises. I have a bachelor's degree in biochemistry and pharmacology and a doctorate degree from the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at the University of Leeds in England. For much of my career, I have been the only woman or one of a few women in the lab or in executive meetings, despite working in an industry that caters strongly towards women. Today, we hope to pique your interest in personal care formulation and introduce you to some of NewSkin's impressive scientists. You'll also have access to a handout that summarizes this workshop and outlines the diverse educational and career paths in personal care. You already have a jump start by participating in activities like SheTech, so maybe someday we'll get to see your creativity at work here at NewSkin. Hello and welcome to the New Skin Lab. My name is Lucas and I am a formulator here and I am going to be showing you how to make a certain product today. Now one of the, my favorite products that I've ever made is this uh, triphasic toner. Uh, it has three distinct layers as you can see and it consists of a water phase, a dimethicone or silicone phase, and an oil phase on top. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this and in your attached brochures, you will learn how to make this at home. So I've already pre-weighed the water into a small beaker here, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my propeller here. And I'm gonna start by adding the first ingredient, which is a mixture of glycerin and apple extract. So this uh, mixture of glycerin and apple extract is actually uh, known to really hydrate the skin. Now, glycerin is recognized as a humectant, which basically pulls water uh, from the air into your skin. Um, and the apple extract is actually uh, a similar uh, mechanism. It is known to hydrate the skin topically. Now the next ingredient that I'm going to add is called butylene glycol. That is also recognized as a humectant and it will pull water from the air into your skin and basically hydrate the skin. So the third ingredient that I'm adding is disodium EDTA. Now this ingredient is a salt that binds heavy metals in your formula to keep them uh, from interacting with any of the other ingredients inside the formula and it helps with the preservation of the formula itself. Now the fourth ingredient that I'm adding is sodium benzoate. Now sodium benzoate might sound familiar because it actually is also used both in the food industry and the cosmetics industry and it is very commonly used. Now the fifth ingredient that I'm adding to the water phase is sodium chloride, also known as table salt. Now what this ingredient does is it actually helps polarize the water phase even further than what water is already charged. So basically you're adding a charge to the water to really repel those other phases, those other layers in the formula. Now the sixth ingredient that I'm adding is aloe powder. So this is basically dehydrated aloe. Now aloe itself has been traditionally used as a soothing ingredient. A lot of people use it for sun, uh, after sun care. Uh, and it's basically to help soothe the skin after it's been damaged or dried. Now the seventh ingredient that I am adding is called cetrimonium chloride. Um, this ingredient is actually used in the hair care industry uh, and basically adds a positive charge to whatever you are putting it in. Um, and we're going to add this to the water phase to again give it an even stronger charge to repel the other layers. And last but not least, we are adding everyone's favorite part of the formula, and that is the color. So I've decided to add blue to this formula, and our color is basically a blend of natural extracts to give it this color. So basically it comes from flowers and plants.
And now that we've finished our water phase, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to our empty bottle here. Now I've prepared already the water phase and this is what it should look like when it's done. And there you have the water phase poured. Now the next phase is our silicone phase or our dimethicone phase. And this ingredient is commonly used in makeup primers. Um, it is used to create slip in products and that is exactly what we're gonna use it for in this toner. Uh, we're gonna create some slip and that way this toner just glides right over the skin. So here I have the uh, dimethicone. It is a clear liquid uh, and it's almost water thin. I'm gonna go ahead and add this right on top of that water phase. As you can see, it forms a beautiful layer right on top of that water. And now for the last and top phase, which is the oil phase. I start with a base oil called octyl dodecanol, and I add some yellow oil, buriti oil. Now that I've added my buriti oil to this mixture, I'm going to mix it slowly. And as you can see, the oil has now become yellow. And the last ingredient that I'm going to add for this oil phase is some fragrance oil. Now, this is also another favorite part of mine. I got to pick this personally, and I love this fragrance because it reminds me of the ocean. Now that we have our third and final phase done, I'm going to go ahead and add a pre-made version right on top of those other phases that we made earlier. And as you can see, we've created our beautiful masterpiece, a triphasic toner. And uh, the reason we get these three phases is because of density. The difference in densities creates these three separate layers. Now, I've added some ingredients to help with the separation itself, but as you can see, we have three beautiful layers, and that means the most dense is at the bottom, and the least dense is at the top. Now, just give this product a nice good shake, and you get a beautiful green toner that is ready for use at home. You just put it on top of a cotton pad and use it after you've cleansed your face. Another key part of our role in research and development occurs once we have finished developing a new product or technology and we have to figure out a creative way to explain how it works and why it is so interesting to our customers. For example, when we developed our cleansing device, one of the key points of difference between it and the competitors was its silicone head that was much gentler than the bristles head used by other devices. So we wanted to figure out a way that would grab our customers' attention. In the following video, we used everyday jello to symbolize the skin and used the H-Lock Lumi Spot and two other bristle brush devices. Now pay attention to the movement of the jello and how gentle our Lumi Spot is compared to the bristles of the other devices.
When I was in school, I really loved math and science, and so when I got into college, I wanted to pursue something more in the science spaces. Um, I actually started off in pharmacy and realized that was not for me. <laughs> so actually my school uh, offers a cosmetic science program, and so I was lucky enough that my advisor reached out to me and let me know about this, and now I'm so happy that I'm in this career path. The one thing that I love about my job is how creative I can be. Um, our job is very innovative, and so every day when we get to create new and exciting products is one of the most rewarding things about this job. One thing that I find very challenging can be the multiple iterations that we have to go through sometimes to create formulas and to create the best product for our customers. Something that really excites me about this industry is more products becoming more environmentally friendly. Um, I feel like the new consumers, people like you guys, um, are more caring about the environment and the earth and I feel like that is a great trend that I hopefully continues and hopefully when you guys become formulation chemists like me, you guys can do that as well. So some advice I would give you guys is to look into colleges that offer cosmetic chemist classes or even chemistry classes in general. Um, another thing is look into cosmetic companies that maybe offer internships or shadowings. That's actually what I did before I had this job and that's got me where I'm at today.